What's up guys, Mikaddy here, and today we guys, week 2 of the Screw My Draft League, where I'm up against Lars, aka El Sizzle. His links will be down below, so make sure you go check him out and everything like that. Now if you're excited for the battle, don't forget to leave a like down below, I would really appreciate it. If we could get this to 50 likes, that would be absolutely insane. So what we're going to do now is run through his list of what he could bring, what we're bringing in as an answer, and then finally we're going to go into the battle. So we have got... Mega Beedrill, Delphox, Steelix, Moffim, Volcarona, Celebi, Wigglytuff, Pinsir, Rotom Cut, and Yamega to face. So, as you guys can see, huge, huge rock weakness. So, that's going to be really, really nice to try and. Uh, we just basically need to get rocks up. His options for devogging are Mega Beedrill, <laughs> Moffim, or Yanmega. So, uh, really, really nice on our part. Um, so, that's going to be really, really nice. We're probably going to do it in a call as well. So, uh, that's going to be really, really good fun. Uh, biggest threat. He's got some big threats. Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill outspeeds all of my team regardless of Scarfers and everything like that. I have to get two speed boosts on and combust him to outspeed it. So that's going to be a really, really big threat. So I need to try and handle that. I need to capitalize on the fact that it can't go for its coverage moves unless it knows it's going to kill. So I'm going for bulk this time. This is going to be a bulky offensive team. Uh, and that's basically the concept behind it. Volcarona is another massive issue with a Quiver Dance up. That can run through most of my team because uh, most of my water types either don't appreciate a fire move or they don't appreciate a bug move. Um, and then all my steel types obviously get bopped. Mega Camera Upt. He has got a bit of an issue there where he either has to run HP Water for Camera Upt or he's got to run... Um, which one is it? HP Ground for Empoleon. But to be honest, like even Empoleon's still not going to appreciate it at all. Uh, the Pincer, if that's Scarfed, is going to be really, really spooky. Uh, I'm expecting the Rotom Cut as well, because that breaks through uh, a lot of my bulkier water types and things like that. And then finally, yeah, Mega, I have no, no real switch into that, especially if it's Specs Tinted Lens. So uh, that's going to be really, really fun. But I think I've got the team that's going to be able to crack in with this. It's some very, very weird sets again. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping they pull through. So we've got Combuskin here. He's our, probably our most standard set with uh, the Life Orb Speed Boost with Rock 2, Flare Blitz, Baton Pass, and Protect. Basically, get some Speed Boost, pass them into something if we need to. Uh, he's got a relatively quick draft, but um, he won't need to put much speed in to actually outspeed me. I think my my most prominent threat that's the fast, my fastest threat is like 70. So uh, he doesn't need to put much speed in at all. So I might be able to capitalize on that. Rock Tomb and Flare Blitz hits everything either super effectively or really, really hard. Um, I would like to have packed Overheat on there for the Steelix, but uh, I think Flare Blitz is going to have to do it just because that Baton Pass could be really, really clutch. Next up, we've got the Omastar. Um, for some reason, that should have been Shell Armor. With uh, Ancient Power, Scald, Ice Beam, and Shell Smash. Basically, get Shell Smash up. If he's not got too much speed investment, he's not got a Scarfer, this guy can literally run through his team. So that's really, really nice outside of maybe like a very, very bulky Celebi. Uh, so I just need the fine, you know, the best opportunity to try and set him up. He's got Rocks options for Steelix and also the Rotom. So I just have to see uh, what, whether I decide to leave with him or not to get some damage off. Next, then, we've got the Camera Upt. With the um, weaknesses of his walls, like his best bulky mons are the Steelix and the Celebi, uh, I don't particularly need to uh, run any special attack investment at all. I can just go for a very bulky set. So we've got 248 in HP, uh, 116 bold in defense, and then finally 144 in spadef. So very, very bulky mon. Um, designed to take a hit, and but then punish back. Same sort of concept with the Mega Beedrill. The Mega Beedrill can either choose to take some da do some damage onto me, but die. Or it U-turns out and something else dies. So uh, that's going to be really, really nice. Then we've got another slightly strange set. We've got a Spadef, uh, Metagrosa, the Ockerberry. This guy's designed to take hits from both the Mega Beedra. I can take a hit. Rock Slide will uh, KO back. Also the same with the Volcarona. I think I can take... I'm pretty sure... I know I can 100% take a plus one uh, Fire Blast. So that's really, really nice. And uh, I know I can take a plus two Flame for us. It depends what he decides to bring on that. Uh, so that's really, really nice with uh, plus two, uh, you know, with the, with the big Spadef boost and also the Ockerberry. The Ockerberry stops fire moves, so uh, that's really nice. Same with the Delphox as well. I can take a Fire Blast and I can just KO back with Rock Slide without too much effort at all. Then now we've got the uh, Slowbro. This originally was a counter Slowbro set, but unfortunately I tried testing it and you can't run counter plus regenerator because the whole point of this was lure in the Mega Beedrill, use the Tanga Berry to only take 40 to 50% from the U-turn, and then fire back a counter and get a kill from there. But unfortunately, I was unable to do that. So we've got a slightly weirder set. I don't think it's as effective, but uh, I'm a bit pushed for time, so there's not a huge amount I can do. It's basically spread T-Waves, uh, go for Scalds to spread Burns, um, and then just be really fat. And I can carb mind off a few things as well. Like if the um, Volcarona starts setting up, I might be able to start setting up on that. I can T-Wave that at the very least. The Tanga Berry allows me to hit take fire moves and also bug moves from there so that's really really nice 
And uh, also the same as Scarf Pinsir. If he locks himself into a Bug-type move, I can take it with a Tanga Berry. I can then get free switch into Metagross or even Omastar and go on from there. Or even Empoleon, to be honest. If he locks himself into EQ, I'm good to go. So it's it's sort of a, 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 a eases my predictions is probably the best way to put it. Now we've got the Empoleon. This set is designed so you can rock slide the uh, Volcarona. I can take hits from the Volcarona because I've got that Assault Vest, which is really, really nice. The max special attack means I hit everything really hard. I wanted something that would be a great wall breaker. Um, I still outspeed Steelix unless, without, unless he puts a load of investment in. So I can wall break the Steelix and I can also wall break the uh, Celebi with the signal beam and also wall break the uh, Wigglytuff. So this is my dedicated wall breaker. It's my switch into Wigglytuff, my reasonable switch into Celebi depending on what he's got. But I can still take Earth Powers and signal beam will do a whole load to that guy. So uh, that's the plan with that. We've got two rock setters. Uh, no need for defog because he could bring his up, but he'd have to defog away the hazardous as well. So I don't I feel, don't feel the need uh, to sacrifice the AV on Empoleon just for that. So what we're going to do now is jump straight into the battle. Let's go. Okay, so Lars uh, said he wants to do a live recording, so that's absolutely fine. So uh, unfortunately, you are just stuck with me for this one, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so question is what is he going to lead with so he's got two potential rockers here uh we're gonna wish him good luck have fun and uh we'll see from there we'll get the damage cow cow and go on from there so he's got two potential leads here he's got the uh potential for leading off with this guy but also leading off with um the celebi right there which could be very very spooky so <clears throat> i think what's our best bet here is uh we could lead off with empoleon we have a fair matchup against pretty much everything. Uh, we can take a hit. Um, yeah, pretty much everything we can take a hit from. We have Assault Vested. Uh, can we take a Drill Run? That's the only thing. Uh, Beedrill uh, versus Empoleon. Especially defensive. A Drill Run. He is going to have the Drill Run. Uh, it's going to do quite a bit, but then I can carry him back with uh, probably a Rock Side. I wouldn't be surprised if Rock Side kills. Um... Okay, Rockside's doing a lot less than I hoped. Uh, okay. Let's not go for the Rockside then. The Rockside is mainly for other things. Uh, so we, we're going to save him. I think overall, maybe Meg Metagross might be our best lead here. We've got the Signal Beam. We can set up our Stealth Rocks. Okay, I think this is our lead. Leads off with the Celebi. That works really nicely for us. Uh, we can just get our Rocks up, which I think is our best bet. We are probably going to take some damage, but he's not brought... Um, What's I'm call it? The Volcarona. So that's pretty nice. That's going to help us a lot. He's got basically two options. He's got Defog Yam Mega and also he's got Defog Mega Beedrill. So uh, rocks are going to be really, really nice against him, especially with that Beedrill. So we'll just have to see what he decides to do right here. He could Earth Power. We are maxed for death though. So that's really, really nice. That's going to uh, help us quite a bit. Could bluff the... Actually, yeah, so I can't... we can't bluff the Assault Vest, but uh, we'll just have to see. <laughs> um, oh! He says, my Celebi's only got three moves. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, okay, so we are now back. He has added that extra move. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're just going to set up rocks here. Could be popping that cheeky Earth Power right here. Uh, that's actually not too bad for us. We just, As I said, we just need to get this up. Signal Meme um, will do quite a bit to it. So that should be absolutely fine. Right, let's see what he decides to do. Um, I don't know what else he's going to have to hurt me. We resist both of both his stabs, um, which is really, really nice. So we actually do have a bit of a lead matchup right now. Uh, he could go straight into Delphox. Goes into Mexican Pun. Okay. That's fine. Um, I think what we're going to do here is he's got two options. He's either going to Will-O-Wisp or he's going to uh, Volt Switch. So I'm actually going to save Metagross and we're going to go into Camera Ups right here. He could be very, very cheeky and go for that Leaf Storm. Um... But I think this is by far and away our best play. He does go for that Leaf Storm. That was very, very cheeky of him. Uh, I can definitely appreciate that. So what we can do is we can Mega up here. And um, how much is Delph? Oh, we're going to do a lot to Delphox, I imagine. He's basically got to sack something. Um, I know we took a lot from that, but it was still really, really worth it. Um, he can't really touch us as well, so we could even uh, predict it. Fire Blast doesn't kill. Um, ancient Power does 70 to 80. So we could go for the Ancient Power here. I'm going to go for that. Goes into Del Fox. We got him. Okay. And that does nothing. Why does that do nothing? Is that like Spadef? Oh, that is Spadef. That's really, really cheeky. That must be like a Spadef AV set. 
Um, so let's pop that. 252. 252. Um, that's going to be really problematic for us. Uh, Ancient Power Assault Vest. Why did that do so little? 30 to 36. Oh, because we're not properly offensive as well. That might be why. So he's probably... Yeah, he is for Def AV. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Um, question is, what do we want to switch into anything? Or do we just want to let camera up to go down here just to get some damage off? I think we're going to. He has the him power water. We do live on one, which is great. We can get some damage off. We don't get any boosts. That would have been really cool if we got some boosts. Uh, 337 speed. Um, it might be a little bit iffy with him. We could go into the Omastar and set up right now because he's got no priority. It could be... Oh, it's probably Scarf Road to Mo, but I don't think we outspeed, unfortunately. So let's have a look. But I think trading off camera up to get this guy down is really, really nice because it is going to give some of my team uh, a bit of issues. She goes to the Shadow Ball there. Okay, so he's revealed Shadow Ball. That's really, really interesting. Um... So I don't want to get too much on my slow bro just yet. We have got this Salt Vest Napoleon. Um, how much is he going to do to us? Um, oh, you, uh, you, you offensive. Um, even a Fire Blast. Okay, so that's just a normal Fire Blast. Uninvested. As we said, we is for death. Uh, so I think that's our bet. We're going to go into Napoleon here. We can go for that Scald. Really, really nice and get some damage off. Probably going to kill the Del Fox. Uh, I wouldn't be too surprised. We are Special Attack Invested. Um, that's a normal one. That's a Salt Vest. Okay, so we're going to kill. That's really, really nice. He could switch out. But, um, I still think overall it's our best bet. Because he's going to die to rocks pretty much, uh, after this. So, uh, I'm not too worried. He does go into the, uh, the Celebi. We've prepped for this. That's absolutely fine. We are AV as well. We snag the burn. That's really, really nice. That's going to help us a lot. Uh, let's fire off that signal meme. Uses Baton Pass. Okay, let's see what he decides to go into. Oh, if he goes into that Rotom now. Oh my goodness, how much damage are we going to do? Okay, that's great. That's really, really great. Oh, we get the Confusion. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, are we going to risk the Confusion? We could just freely Signal Beam here. Um, that would be really, really nice. We can take these, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he showed that he's got the uh, Leftovers. Rotom. Uh, Rotom Calc. I apologize for the amount of calcs, but basically that's how you roll with this sort of thing. Uh, Ave, I saw that I can take these. Um, I'm just going to signal meme here. He's got to risk it, or he's got to switch out. So, uh, we'll just have to see. But this Empoleon could be doing, could put in a lot of work against the team. So that's really, really nice. I know we lost the Mega Camera Ups, but that's going to help us a lot. Oh, the confusion does go through. I do apologize for that, Lars. Uh, I'm going to apologize. But the Mexican pun, that was a big threat to our team. And that having that out of the way is really, really nice. It's getting to the point now where we should be able to do some really good damage with Combuscan to his team. Um, I'm just not sure what is... So is he, oh, he going to be Scarf um, Pincer? If we can take out the Scarf Pincer, that could be huge. So we'll just have to see what he decides to do. If he goes into the uh, Beedrill, uh, we can just Scald. Because we could take an, uh, we can take a, uh, what's my GG drill run. I think that's our best bet. It's just disappointing that I don't get any special rock moves. I mean, I get the him power rock, but, um, I don't think that actually makes much difference to B drill. Let me just double check this, uh, oh no, this is, this is, uh, yeah, rock slide. Yeah, rock slide's not doing a huge amount, but that is defense invested. Um, if he's not defense invested and we're normal attack, so we're like a bashful. Um, and he's not got that defense investment. He's probably going to have some speed investment. Okay, so that's a roll. So that's pretty sweet. So we could do that. Um, other options, we've got slow bro. I don't think it's worth it. Let's stay in and let's go for the rock slide. Goes for the drill run. We can take that. And a rock slide is going to kill. Fantastic. Okay, we're in this. We can do this. We've taken out his biggest threat. That is great. This Empoleon set has been brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy we went for this set. Okay. <laughs> this game is going to be... It's so fun. I, I love this league already. Okay. Um, we're kind of running out of usefulness. It, um, and we can go into Combuscan after this. If he locks himself into like a fighting move. Um, so let's go for that. Let's go for... Actually, I think Rockslide might have been... Ah, okay. Locks himself and goes into EQ. 
He is Moxie. He doesn't show any other attacks. So I'm assuming that he is going to be uh, the typical Moxie set with the Scarf. So uh, Slowbro, you should be able to take these. If he does uh, not do that, I think we just fire for T-Wave here. Um, we've got switches into uh, Celebi if need be. Let's just fire for Scald here, see what he goes into. He does go into the Celebi. I couldn't afford to overpredict there. Um, um, do we snag? Oh, we do snag the burn. Oh, goodness. I feel so bad for Lars. I apologize. Um, okay. He is got the leftovers. So I think this is our switch time into Metagross. We still got the Fireberry. So we can take any hits. We need Slowbro up a good amount of HP. Because it basically, it walls are ah, cheeky. Okay. Let's see what he decides to go into. We can take any hit from anything. Um, I'm pretty sure even the... Um, Metagross uh, versus uh, ch -ch 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 Pinsir. Scarf Pinsir is going to be spooky. Uh, but we ha he the trouble is he can't lock himself into a bug move. He does go into Chrome. This is my time. Um, I'm just going to go for uh, Signal Beam. You're probably going to kill. I, I, I know it's at 2%, but like it's... Oh, no, it's neutral, isn't it? Um, let's see. 252. 252. Um, Metagross, not Met, no, Mega Metagross, Met, uh, Metagross. Uh, zero investment special attack, signal beam. Uh, does 10% versus that, AV. Okay, I, I'm definitely killing. I just didn't want to live on, like, nothing. And the berry activates, and we do, he doesn't do a huge amount. So that's really, really nice. And, uh, we can stay in and kill. So that's great. We're now getting to the position where we might be able to sweep with our, what's we call it? Okay, it's getting it's getting there. <laughs> oh, this is this is so much fun. These silly sets are working as well, and that's the great thing. Okay, he's uh, he's got some options to kill Slowbro, but we we can handle that. Goes into his uh, what's some call it? Question is, what do we want to do from here? Metagross is still viable. Uh, so is Omastar. If he locks, locks himself into a bug move, he's kind of screwed. If he locks himself into a ground move, uh, he's less so. So the question is, do we want to go straight into Slowbro? Um, we have got the berry for that. Is it time to pop my berry? I think it's time to pop the berry if we need to. EQ, okay, that's great. And what we can do here is, um, we could double... And I'm itching to double right here. Especially when we're... Are we going to kill... How much damage do we do to the Celebi? With a Scald. 11%. So it's not going to be enough to kill the Celebi. Okay. Uh, the question is, do we double? And is it worth it? Because if we double and we get this wrong, uh, we could lose something. Um, I think overall it's still worth it. Oh, he's thinking about it. So I can't even T-Wave, that's the thing, because the Celebi is going to be able to get back up to full. Um, I think we go for it. Yes! Okay, we got him. We got him. We got the double. That's great. Now what we can do is we can just fire off a Meteor Mash. Um, is that our best play, or is it this Signal Beam? Um, Metagross, we got that set. Um, we are not invested in attack. Meteor Mash versus Celebi. Um, OU Baton Pass. Meteor Mash does 26. Okay, so we, we kind of need to Signal Beam here, unfortunately. But he is going down to Rock's damage very, very slowly. So I think Signal Beam's our play. We can take anything from the uh, Yan Mega, I'm pretty sure, because we are bulky. Um, let's see, Meteor Mash is a roll. It's a very off, off roll, especially when I'm not... Actually, I'm not adamant. I'm bashful, or whatever. It, uh, not bashful, but you, you guys know what I mean. Okay. So, we're not even going to kill. We have to signal beam here, unfortunately. But he knows we might Meteor Mash. So, I think this is our play. Rocks are going to be clutch, I think. Because it's really going to limit how many times it's... Um, if he brings in the... Oh, he does go for the SD. Okay, that's great. We get the signal beam off. We kill. That is great. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so much fun. I love this. Okay. Right. What does he decide to do here? 
Because he can't lock himself into a bug move. Okay, so he's out into Yan Mega. How much does a Yan Mega do against a Calm? Choice specs. Bug Buzz. Oh my god. No, no, we're not AV. We're, we're, um, we're not AV. Okay. 252. Calm. We might be able to live this. To 51. We live. We live a Choice Specs. Okay. S slash Giga Drain. Uh, I don't think this guy learns any other moves apart from that. Um, as far as I'm aware, even making all these heat sets, I may have actually been able to. Night Slash. No, that's fine. Thief. Shadow Ball. I mean, he could have the Shadow Ball. Um... But then I can go into Armor Start. I think I've got to go for it. Air Slash. Okay. And we got him. Okay, this is great. I think we've just won. That's great. <laughs> oh my goodness. This Metagross set was incredible. Uh, goes into Dick Pinch. Um, I can just go for the Rock Slide here. We've got the Berry on. Yeah, we've, we've basically got this. Because uh, I can go for that. The Exes is going to go. I can now go into um, Slowbro. I've got the- have I got the berry? Did I pot the berry? Ooh, did I just mess up? Did I just mess up? What's the name of the berry? Tanga berry. I don't think my tanga berry's popped. No, I haven't. Okay, I haven't popped it. Go tanga berry! Awesome! Okay, we get the T-wave off and now that is game. Because now we can scold. He does outspeed still, even with that paralysis. But uh, what we can do now is we can go into Combuscan. Uh, we can protect here, just to guarantee, just in case, like some weird, strange thing. And um, it, it, we're good to go from here. Now we go for that Flare Blitz. Yes, okay, so we, we are 2-0 and o right now. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that was great. GG, man. Okay, right, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I had so much fun doing these. These sets were just absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys next week. McCaddy out.